Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my Loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe. Before you leave, become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned and definitely where that makeup is cheap. Today is just going to be a very chatty get ready with me session. We're going to get ready to do absolutely nothing because y'all know I don't leave my freaking house. I haven't left my house in weeks. I've got to do something about that. I'm going absolutely insane. I am not feeling like 100% today. Uh, I actually feel uh, a little bit like a pile of doo-doo. I lost my nail. It flung off. I don't. I have no idea where it went. It's been off for two days, and I still have not brought myself uh, to find the gumption to replace it. <sighs> anyway, so I figured I'd sit down and I would do some makeup, sit here and chit chat with you guys for a little bit, uh, and maybe it might make me feel just a little bit better. I think honestly, I'm probably about to have my period. My face is breaking out uh, like crazy. I just, I don't know. I feel gross. Just not, just not 100%, you know what I mean? Um, but we're going to do this eye look today. Mm. I've been doing so many really gorgeous, colorful looks. Love, 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 love them. Uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit neutral today. Uh, so we did this one. I am so incredibly in love with it. You guys know how I feel about my warm tones. So sit back, relax, get yourself a big old cup of coffee or sweet tea. Uh, I hope that you guys have just a few minutes to sit down and hang out with me for a little bit. Uh, and we're we're just going to play with some makeup and just talk for a little bit. So mm, I'm going to be using the Morphe palette today. This is one of my very favorite Morphe palettes. Uh, it's just good. This is the Morphe Sunset Beats. I know that this isn't the first time that I've played with this palette on this channel, but it's just so, so good. Uh, that's what the color story looks like. Oh, you can see straight up my nose. Uh, so that's what the color story looks like. Uh, it's nothing like incredibly special, but I do think that the formula inside this, pa the formulas inside this palette are just spectacular. I really enjoy the Morphe uh, formulas. When they do it good, they do it good. The only thing about Morphe is they can be a little bit inconsistent at times. Uh, so sometimes you can get just kind of like a crappy palette, but sometimes you just get really, really great quality. This is the this is the really great quality palettes. Uh, so we're just going to dive into it. I, uh, I've been thinking. <laughs> it's never good. It's never good when I just sit here and think. But I have been thinking. Uh, and, you know, so... It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. And at Christmas, you know, us as as people in general, uh, but I think specifically maybe for parents, um, it's kind of like this point uh, during the year where we really feel like the crunch, right? We are, we go into hyper money saving mode, money like spending mode, We're trying to get ready for Christmas. And as a mother, it is my job like as mothers period, uh, maybe not just mothers, but in my experience, uh, as a mom, it like falls on my shoulder to bring the Christmas spirit into the house. Right. So I'm going to take my big fat, uh, fluffy brush. This is my do color zero three. I'm going to go into this really gorgeous, bright yellow matte color. I'm going to take this all along the upper portion of the transition area. So like I said, I'm just really feeling, uh, I'm really feeling the, the pressure, right, to bring Christmas this year. And uh, money's tight. Money's tight. The, the economy hasn't been kind. We're just running behind on a few things and just money's just tight at the moment, which is fine. Just like almost every other household in, in the world right now, right? The economy's not great just about everywhere you go. Uh, but I asked my son what he wanted for Christmas. And he said, oh, well, I just want one thing. And I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, okay, all right, all right. You know, of course, it's not going to be just one thing because it's no fun going out there and seeing that Santa only brought you one thing, right? So, of course, it's going to be the one thing plus everything else that I have to buy, right? On top of all the clothes and whatever. So he says, oh, yeah, I just bought one thing. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, last year he wanted a hoverboard. It was a couple hundred dollars. We made it work. He says, I just want a gaming PC this year, Mom. And of course, I didn't have any money on Black Friday when everything was freaking on sale. 
right? So I couldn't do any Black Friday shopping. So he sits here and he says, oh, I just want a gaming PC. And I'm like, oh, 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 okay, we'll, we'll see what Santa does, right? Because of course, Santa gets all, all, all of the... Um, Santa gets all the credit, right? <laughs> so I go online and I'm trying to figure out like what kind of, of thing would work, right? He says, oh, well, I don't need like a big giant uh, one. I just need like a really standard one. And I go online and I look at it and like the cheapest one that I could find was like $800, right? And I'm like, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <sighs> Right. And I, and I usually give myself around like five or six hundred dollars to spend on on him for the holidays for Christmas. So it's that that's kind of like the budget that I'm working on. Right. I've been saving for months trying to make sure that I have enough money to get him a good Christmas. But he wants this present. Right. And I, uh, I'm a good mom. So I'm, I'm going to make sure that I make it happen. Right. Because I don't have a choice. I'm going to make sure that I can get him some kind of PC. But I have to spend like almost more than the entire budget on this one present. And then it's not like I can just stop there because then we have to do, uh, we have to do uh, stockings. And then of course I use Christmas as an excuse because there's everything's on sale. So I use, uh, I, that's when I buy him all of his like winter clothes and things like that. So we have to go and my son... If you've ever seen a picture of my son, he is freaking gigantic. This boy is 13 years old. He wears a size 13 and a half shoe, 13 and a half wide, mind you, 13 and a half shoe. Okay. I buy him a new pair of shoes every six months because he destroys them. And then on top of that, he's in another growth spurt. I'm not trying to like pile, you know, but I'm just kind of venting at the moment. So on top of buying him out, having to buy him new shoes, I have to buy him new clothes because he's in another growth spurt. So of course... I have to buy him winter jackets and, you know, sweatpants and things like that because it's not like I can send him to school naked. <laughs> so it's just like I'm just sitting here thinking about, oh, my goodness gracious, I'm going to go into debt trying to do Christmas this year. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. I think Mr. Hubby is going to get a Christmas bonus this year, which will be super, super nice. But anyway, it's just a lot to think about. It's just a lot to think about. And then I think about the fact that... <sighs> when like Black Friday comes around and uh, Cyber Monday and Cyber Week and all that good stuff. And as much as I love makeup, you guys know how much I love makeup. I adore makeup and skincare, all things girly. And then I've been thinking about the fact that, uh, you know, I'm really, really good at not spending money. I try to be very good uh, with keeping a, a, a very level head when it comes to uh, purchasing excuse me, when it comes to purchasing things and spending money, stuff like that, try to be very aware of the fact that I need to save money. Like I need to save money and not spend it. But like the whole, the, the advertising here and, and this and that and the other thing, it just like, it makes you want to spend money and you know, it's all very calculated. And that's, that's the whole point of the thing, right? Is they want you to spend money. They want you to go out and spend every last dime you've got because you can't miss this deal, right? So I was thinking about the fact that Honestly, honestly, if I'm being very, very honest with myself, I have enough makeup to last me multiple lifetimes. I have, I have quite a bit of makeup. I have more makeup than I will ever be able to use, right? And there is honestly no point in me going out and buying things just to buy things. Like, honestly, at this point, if I buy something, it should be because it's new or because it's innovative or because it's something special or because I want to review it for the channel, things like that. Um, but I was sitting here trying to think about like, you know, what I want to do for myself for Christmas or this or that or the other thing. And honestly, I just don't need anything. I honestly don't need anything. I mean, it would be the only thing that I truly, truly want for Christmas is I would love, love, love some multi-chrome eyeshadows. I have never played with any. Uh, I have a couple of Chroma Shift pigments from Nikia Joy Cosmetics uh, that are super, super nice. But I would just love to be able to, I'm going to do a Christmas wish list because um, there are a couple of brands that I am just absolutely dying to try. But they're on my wish list because I, I cannot, I cannot uh, in good conscience bring myself to spend that amount of money on something that I'm going to put on my face, wear around the house for a couple hours, and then legitimately wash down the sink. I mean, because that's what happens. That's what happens when I put, uh, you know, when I wear makeup. Because again, I don't ever leave the house 
So, and as much as I wear my makeup for myself, I don't feel like it is okay to spend that much money on an eyeshadow palette or even just a single shadow when the money could be better spent buying Sean a pair of shoes or buying him a new wardrobe, things like that. Okay, buying, you know, things like that. So uh, you guys know that I have a rule when it comes to buying makeup. I don't like to spend over 20 bucks. I, there is very, very little in my collection uh, that I have spent over $20 for. There are a few exceptions, but for, you know, as the majority, for the majority, I don't spend over $20 on any one single piece of makeup. I feel like makeup shouldn't be that expensive. Makeup doesn't have to be uh, that expensive to be, you know, special and incredible uh you know but again christmas time comes around and you're supposed to be able to like get yourself that one little special thing whatever but i was really thinking about it and i was like you know honestly i just can't i can't i cannot i cannot this year and i don't want to so i think what i'm gonna do is i am going to take my christmas budget i'm gonna buy sean his christmas i'm gonna make sure that he has an absolutely fantastic Christmas like I do every single year and you know the, the great thing about being an adult is when you want something you can pretty much just buy it for yourself right uh as long as you know you have the means to do so if you want something or if I want something I'm very lucky that if like I placed that Huda Beauty order I'm very lucky to be in a position where we're not rich by any means um but, but we're okay, right? Uh, it's not like I'm affluent or anything, but we're not destitute either. Uh, money is tight, but it's not like, you know, I'm, I'm not in, in a vice or anything. So I took the $50 and I, and I purchased my Huda Beauty products and I'm very, very happy with them. Love them, by the way. That Python palette is phenomenal. So, so gorgeous. Anyway, but there, I really don't, I really don't need anything and I really don't need anything badly enough to go out and spend the money on it, especially when things, the budget's going to be super tight anyway, because of what Sean asked for for Christmas. And you know, the older kids get, the more expensive they get. I remember when he was younger and we were so, so poor. We were so, so poor. I would go to Dollar General and he loves art. He loves to draw things like that. I would go to Dollar General. I would buy him some markers excuse me, I would buy him some markers and some crayons. I would buy a pack of printer paper because he loves to draw on printer paper. I would wrap it all up. I would put it under the tree and he would have the Christmas of his dreams, right? But as they get older, unfortunately, uh, <coughs> as they get older, <coughs> they become a little bit harder to impress. So I actually have to work for it now. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's where the budget's going this year. That's where the budget's going this year. I'm okay with that. I don't think Mr. Hubby really needs anything. I do have to get him. <clears throat> there are, are a couple of things that I buy uh, Mr. Hubby every single year. I always try to find him. I always get him earrings because he's got his ears gauged. So I always find him really funky, cool kind of earrings. Uh, Arctic Buffalo is one of the best places to find body jewelry if you guys are looking. Uh, and they're super, super affordable as well. So I always get him some jewelry. I always get him a really funky, cool pair of socks. Um, last year, I got him Nightmare Before Christmas socks, and they were so cute. They were so cute. And then he wore, he actually wore them to work today, and he came home and he took his shoe off, uh, and his little, his little big toe was poking right through the sock. So they've, they've, uh, they've served their purpose. Uh, so now it's time to get him a new pair. Uh, I think last year I got him the Nightmare Before Christmas socks. And then I also got him some Golden Girl socks. He loves the Golden Girls. It's so, so funny. Uh, but I got him a couple pair of really fun socks. So it's, uh, he loves that kind of stuff, but it's not super expensive. So I can like put a smile on his face without having to spend a whole lot of money. But at this point, like usually Mr. Hubby will get me, um, like he'll either get me like a piece of jewelry or a purse or something like that. And I honestly, I just don't want any of that this year. I don't, I just am at the point now in my life where I just feel like spending money on things like that is just unnecessary. I mean, I have plenty of purses. I don't need any more. Uh, I love my jewelry, but I really don't need any more jewelry uh, either. You know, it, 
You know what I mean? Uh, and the only thing I really uh, am super passionate about is my crocheting, uh, reading, and doing my makeup. But I have, again, I have so much makeup at this point that I just don't feel like it is realistic or even necessary to, to buy or want to buy any more makeup. But I am very excited about my wish list video that's coming. I There are a couple of brands that I desperately, desperately want to try. Um, and you know, and if ever uh, we have a little bit of extra money, maybe a couple months down the, the road when I have a little bit of money saved up, I might kind of go for it. Not going to happen for me this Christmas, but that is totally okay. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really want to try out some multi-chrome eyeshadows. They just look so incredibly beautiful. And I've never gotten the chance to play with any before. So I think that would be really, really awesome. But let me know, are you guys feeling the crunch this year too? Uh, I, I feel like the uh, economy, or this year, uh, has hit all of us pretty hard. Uh, and, you know, it's, the last couple of years have been pretty difficult. Um, but this year in particular, it just seems like it's hitting us uh, a little bit harder than uh, the, the last couple of years. I mean, last year was pretty difficult as well, but again, my son wasn't asking for a $900 computer for Christmas, so there was that. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know, what are your babies asking for for Christmas? Are there any, like, super fun, cute uh, Christmas gift ideas that, like, you guys could share with me? Um, I always, oh, here's another thing. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I love gifting. I love the thought that goes into it. I love trying to find that perfect present. I really do love, love, love giving to people. Speaking of giving, uh, the first is coming very, very shortly. I think tomorrow is the first or probably the day that you're seeing this. Today is the first. So our uh, Christmas giveaways are starting now. I'm going to get into that in just a minute uh, towards the end of the video uh, because the gift, the gift aways start today. But uh, every year for Christmas, I get Mr. Hubby and Sean, uh, I get them onesies. Now, uh, we live in a pretty cold place. We're in the middle of the mountains uh, and it gets cold here. The winter is super, super cold. Uh, so the best thing is, especially like on days off or during the weekends, uh, my my boys, they love that. I run hot. I am always in a tank top and shorts. I'm in the t-shirt today, but I still have shorts on. I just run hot. I swelter continuously. Um, but my, my boys, they absolutely freeze. Uh, so I get them onesies and I try and I scour the internet, guys. I scour the internet trying to find the kookiest onesies I can possibly find. And you know what I love so very much is these boys wear them. These men wear these onesies and love every second of it. Uh, I got Mr. Hubby uh, a, a Yeti onesie last year he wears all the time he'll put his onesie on put a pair of jeans or sweatpants over top rock it to the grocery store he does not care does not care at all um and it keeps them warm and toasty and they're great for days off weekends like i said so uh that is like when the, that is usually what we open on christmas eve our christmas eve tradition uh is we'll usually each get uh pajamas and we will open our pajamas on christmas eve and take our christmas eve photos and stuff like that so I'm super excited to try to look for super cool onesies. If you guys know any companies or brands that do really fun uh, onesies, please let me know. Uh, the only ca caveat to that is my husband is like 6'4 and my son is like 6'2. Uh, and my husband is, he's a, a very, very slim man, but very tall, very long, got very long arms and legs. And my son is just a freaking monster. He's like 260 pounds. I know he's 13 and he's a He's built like a freaking line linebacker. He's just a monster. Um, but so I need I need onesies for like big and tall. You know what I mean? But if you guys know of any super cute onesies, please let me know. I am so excited. This is that is one of those things that I will not. Uh, I will not. What is that word I'm trying to look for? I will not sacrifice that. Right? I would rather starve for a week and use the money to buy them those onesies than not buy them the onesies. We have to have we have to have the Christmas pajamas. We will not sacrifice that at all. This is what the eye looks like so far. Isn't she so, so pretty? It is super simple and super easy to do. It's pretty much like a real, a gorgeous, like, uh, 
very orangey, warm toned kind of sunset eye. Guys, this is the reason I love this palette so, so much. So now we're going to take a mixture of these two colors right here. So this one is a really, really beautiful black with uh, teeny tiny microfine glitter particles in it. And then this one is a gorgeous deep cranberry. Uh, yeah, it's deep cranberry kind of plum color, but it too has, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. They have the teeny tiny uh, little uh, glitter reflex in there. So I'm going to take a mixture of both of these two colors on my, this is my Shop Miss A E132. It is the teeny tiny little precise blending brush that I rave about all the time. And I'm going to start placing this right in my outer V to start building up a little bit of depth on the outer corner and then bring it out towards the tail of my eyeshadow like that. And I'm just gonna start kind of blending that through and adding a little bit of depth to this eye look. But this formula is so nice that it really does blend out beautifully and super easily. I'm just gonna continue to build that up on the outer corner, just like that. So yeah, uh, super excited about Christmas pajamas, you know, and as big and tall as they both are, they're not super hard to shop for. Uh, if you know where to look, uh, I really do enjoy Walmart online. It seems like, uh, online there definitely is a better selection of clothes, especially for men. I find that it's usually harder for me to find pajamas than anything else. And I'm a pretty large woman. I wear a size 24, 26. So like, I am not a small woman by any means. I'm a big old lady and I don't mind. My husband don't mind and my son don't mind. So that's okay. Uh, but it's really, really difficult to find cute pajamas or cute clothes period that don't look like 1960s shower curtains. Does anybody find, like, does anybody find that odd? Like, why do uh, clothing manufacturers think that plus size women just want to look like shower curtains? Like, if I wanted to walk around in a muumu, I would go buy a muumu. You know what I mean? Anyway, completely different video. That, that's, that, that's a topic for a different video. Anyway, I usually have a harder time finding myself uh, pajamas than I do uh, the boys. But yeah, super excited about... I just, I'm just excited about Christmas in general. I have all of my decorations up except for my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree is going to go up tomorrow. I have to get Mr. Hubby, uh, help me dig it out. You guys see that curtain back behind me? That curtain is put, uh, is put up to cover what's in that closet right there. Cause it is absolutely stuffed full of everything that was in this room. Cause I kind of moved everything and stuffed it in the closet so I could have somewhere to do my makeup, but I have to go in there and I have to dig out my Christmas tree and my decorations so I can start bringing the Christmas magic to life. Kind of excited about that. It's like once the tree goes up, like Christmas is real. And then that's when I go into overdrive and really start trying to like, uh, bring the magic, uh, make, you know, Christmas come alive, but I just love it. I just really, really enjoy Christmas. I think it's a really beautiful uh, time of year. And uh, even though this year is going to be super, super hard, I think that it's still going to be super enjoyable. And even if I don't have a single gift under that tree, I am totally okay with that. The only thing I care about is waking up Christmas morning and seeing my son and my husband full of that Christmas magic. Like that is what, that is what makes my Christmas for me, bringing them joy. And then also on top of that, I always make my nieces and my nephew a, uh, uh, stocking. And then we go over, uh, usually on Christmas Eve or, or the day before Christmas Eve, uh, and we go over and everybody opens up their stockings. It's not really a stocking. What I do is I save old shoe boxes and I decorate them with all kinds of, uh, Christmas wrapping paper and stuff. And then I shove all kinds of really fun, uh, cute stuff in there. I usually do like, uh, temporary tattoos and slime and slinkies and bubbles and all kinds of fun stuff, uh, so that they can play with it Christmas morning while you know their mom's up making breakfast until they're ready to open up Christmas presents it's something to occupy them uh until you know the the main event uh and that is another tra tradition from my mother she used to make us the most amazing my mom was not a uh, a great mother 
my parents were not great at all, but my mom tried very, very hard to make up for it on Christmas. Um, we never had very much money, uh, but she would, she would make us the most amazing, amazing stockings. And they weren't really stockings. Like she would, uh, she would buy these big giant, like they were kind of shaped like stockings, but they were more like sacks and she would put all kinds of just amazing, amazing stuff in there. Um, so that we would have, you know, something to play with until they woke up Christmas Day and it was time to open our presents and stuff. Uh, but I do that for my son and then I do that for my nieces and nephews as well. Again, it's just kind of like bringing the magic. It is my favorite, favorite part of the season. So I'm just going to take this flat, stiff packing brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's the lightest pale gold in the palette. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to pack it all over the rest of the exposed space on my lid. I'm not taking it any higher than my crease. See how beautiful that is? I really do enjoy the Morphe quality. I know some people say it's terrible, but this palette is just so incredibly spectacular. I love it so very much. I'm just going to take that up to my crease and slightly overlap that darker, that depth we have going on on the outer corner. I don't want to completely cover it, but just kind of want to fade it down so everything marries together nicely. Just like that, and it is so, so pretty. You have that nice, bright kind of shininess on the inner portion of the lid, and then all that beautiful, warm uh, depth on the outer corner. It is so, so pretty. And then that is about it. I'm going to take that same teeny tiny uh, blender, the shot miss a e132 and i'm gonna take it and dip it into this shade that really pretty pale orange color and then i'm gonna mix just a little bit of that deeper kind of uh uh caramel camel color and we'll buff this along the lower lash line just to continue A little bit of that depth wrap the eye in that really beautiful uh, orangey warmth and then of course I'm gonna line both of my water lines with my elf no budge liner you could definitely use uh, a brown in this situation if you would prefer a brown I think a brown would look just as spectacular but I don't have a brown liner open at the moment so I'm just gonna use my black and I'm going to take it along the upper waterline. And all this does really is kind of, uh, you know, I always do that. All it does is just kind of, uh, I have no idea what I'm trying to say. It gives my lashes the illusion of a little bit of volume. Makes the base of my lashes look a little bit thicker and also helps to define my eye a little bit. And then I'm gonna take that along the lower lash line as well. On top of that, not talking about makeup, but on top of that, my son's been, an, my son's been a little bit of a douche this year. I don't know about y'all, your kids, but uh, he's 13 years old and he's a, he's a terror. He is an unholy terror 90% of the time. I always know what mood he is, depending on what he calls me. I am a mother if he's, you know, being a little bit of a meanie. I am mama if he wants something. And then I am um, mom or, you know, whatever, when he's just kind of neutral or trying to be sweet. Um, but it, mother or mama. If I hear mother, I'm running the other way. If I hear mama, what do you need? I'm here for you just like I, I'm, I'm wishing, I'm hoping and praying that he's going to shrink back into that adorable teeny tiny uh, little football that I used to carry around with me 24-7. It's never going to happen. He's just going to get bigger from here and meaner, I'm sure. But I'm okay with that. I will take the tiny moments. I will take any small win that I can. But that's pretty much our eye look. What do we think? I think it's absolutely stunning. Guys, I know that I look uh, not great at the moment, uh, but I will continue to finish my makeup uh, and I will post the finished pictures 
over on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, if you guys are not following me everywhere, definitely should go do that. I post fun content every single day. Uh, and if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. Um, but I will have the links to all of my other socials in the description box below if you guys want to go check those out uh and as usual i will post everything that i used in today's video in the description box as well just in case you're curious about what i use stuff like that i'm going to go ahead and finish my base oh i think that inner corner and brow bone highlight just bring this whole thing to life I'm going to go ahead and finish my base, take my pictures, do all that good stuff. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I love popping on here and just talking to you guys. Uh, I, I It really helps me to feel just a little bit closer to y'all. Um, let me know. Do y'all have the same concerns about this Christmas that I do? Uh, it, just, it just seems like it gets harder and harder the older they get. I swear to Jesus, I have no idea what next year is going to bring. Huh. Anyway, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.